But I just wanted y'all to know the truth about me. I want y'all to know what y'all don't already know. That I'm no good. I'm just a dirty, low-down dude with no heart. And now, I'm finally getting my karma. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I'm back with another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you gotta do is turn that bell on to subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you're subscribed. In order to get the notifications every time I drop a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with the vibrating symbol. That way, every time I upload a video on the Cryer family, all of you guys will get the notifications. Also, I will be dropping the link to my reaction channel, the Cryer Family Reacts in the description box down below after this video. So please go on over and subscribe to that channel. Most importantly, guys, being subscribed to that channel and being subscribed to this channel means cash app giveaways are coming soon. We are finally in the first month with the R's in it, September. Gang, gang, gang. Happy birthday to all of you September people out there, man. Anyway, once we get 50K on the Cryer Family Reacts, we will be dropping our very first cash app giveaway on that channel. And don't forget, during the month of December, I'm sorry, the month of November and the month of December, we will also be bringing back the cash app giveaways on the Cryer family during those two months. In order to be a part of those giveaways, you don't even have to fill out an application. You don't have to apply online. You don't have to send in a resume. All you gotta do to be a part of the giveaway is just be subscribed to the channel and keep those notifications on and join the live. Now this year, man, I don't know if I'm actually going to do it in the live. Um, Cause last year, like both years in a row when I did the cash shop giveaways in the live, the, the chat was going so freaking fast that I couldn't even really read it. So I had to stop it real quick and just pick a random name. It's like, so I'm wondering like, should I do that cash app giveaway during the live or should I just do it in the video? Because I'm not gonna lie, man, we had some complications last year. Doing giveaways on live could be complicated because if you make a mistake during the live, you can't take that back. You know, like I think I end up spending like an extra 900, to a thousand dollars last year on the last cash shop giveaway that I did because some people sent me their cash app and I end up cash apping the money to the wrong person so to make it right I had to actually have those people I had to go back and watch that live video thank God I didn't delete it normally I delete the live videos um because you know like you don't really make that off those live videos man 30 40 bucks i'm trying to get the real bag but i didn't delete that live at the time thank god because i was able to go back at that live and look and say oh shoot i end up typing in the cash app name the wrong and i end up cash apping the person but the crazy thing is guys the people that i cash app the money to that wasn't the winner they actually sent me a message and said thank you mr crier it's like what they already knew who i was i'm like oh my god they kept that money kept it going so this year man i may do it live i may do it a little bit different um um than what i did last year i also got another situation going on right now that's that's to me is very very serious like it's the furniture giveaway like it's actually used furniture, but I'm sure somebody will appreciate it. When I got my first place and moved out on my own, I started off with used furniture and I was very proud and very happy to have it because it was something that I had acquired on my own. But I'm still trying to wonder like, how should I do this furniture giveaway? I did put a community post up last night um, about giving me some ideas. Some people saying I should put some names in a jar, shake it up. Some people said I should have somebody to send me something showing that they really, really move and that they really, really need the furniture. But I'm the type of person, man, I don't wanna be getting in people's personal business like that. And I definitely wouldn't use it for a YouTube video because um, I believe some things should be kept like personal, especially if I'm giving furniture to somebody. If you guys remember last time I did do a furniture giveaway, I didn't make a video about it. 
they made a video about it thanking me and I do appreciate it I just think some you know some things don't really need to be bragged about and I'm about to gritty enjoy my day I'm at the park man I'm finna actually head to the dealership because they saying that they want to repo my truck man so I'm just gonna take it to them so they ain't gotta repo it I couldn't afford my payments no more man so I'm sitting here at the park in my truck one last time before I say my final buys to it. This is my first 2022, man. And it looks like I won't get to enjoy it as much as I wanted to. They finna take my truck, repo. I missed like 12 payments. My insurance lapsed about eight months ago. I can't afford to even keep this truck anymore, man. You know, so I just wanna put this out there on YouTube before hit the internet. Cause y'all know anything that happens with me it makes it to the internet and i just figure i might as well put this out there on the internet man that i'm probably finna great to lose my baby man you know i went to burger king today you know i went to burger king today and i spent like what i buy i bought a whopper and a medium fry it cost me like eight dollars and some change you know i could have used that eight dollars and change towards making a payment on my vehicle because the dealership was like, man, you need to pay something, bro. You need to put something down, Damien. You ain't paid nothing in over 12 months, man. And I decided to go to Burger King because my priorities was in the wrong place. So this is probably gonna be my last time sitting in this vehicle right here, man. I knew I couldn't afford to buy it or make the payments when I first got it. I guess I just wanted to make myself look good on YouTube in front of my fans like I got it like that. Because of the truth of the matter is, I don't have it like that. The truth of the matter is, guys, I'm a bum. I'm no good. I'm broke. And I'm just full of drama. So I guess the truth is out there, man. Nobody else get to tell it but me. I told on myself. I know there's probably gonna be a whole bunch of videos made about this. And so I'm just gonna put it out there. Now, what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping that it happen, I'm hoping that my children will see this video. I'm hoping my children will see this video right here. And maybe possibly let me use one of their vehicles. To get me from A to B. Because I don't know what to do, man. But I made my mind up. That uh, I can't hide this car anymore. I've been hiding in my garage. They've been knocking at my door. You know, sending me emails. Sending me all kind of letters and stuff about this vehicle. And my truck actually has a tracker on it. It's a built-in tracker, you know, like where I can start it up from anywhere. I can unlock the doors from anywhere, which means they probably got one of those things on there where they know where the vehicle is at at all times. That's the one thing about buying a new truck, man. You buy a new vehicle, they know your location. So if you miss a payment, they can track the vehicle. They done came to my house so much knocking on my door. It's like they know that the vehicle is there. Even if they don't know that I'm actually there, they know that this vehicle is in the location. Because I can pull up a map on my phone and it shows me exactly where my truck is at. It shows me how much gas is in my truck. It shows me how many miles is on my truck. So everything that I know on the app, they know on the app. So I can't hide it any longer. So I called them today and I told them, yo, I'm just gonna drop it off tomorrow. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys have it back. I said, what's the worst gonna happen, man? They said, well, we're gonna take your vehicle. We're gonna keep it, put it in a undisclosed location. And then we're gonna auction it off because it got equity in it. It's still a new vehicle. It's got equity. This thing got 14, ooh, got almost 15,000 miles on it, man. And then they say once they auction it off, whatever balance is left, they're going to send to me. 
So I've been fighting it and fighting it and fighting it and fighting it, trying to figure out what I want to do. What options do I have here? Should I sell my Gucci slides? I mean, from what I was told, they're all fake anyway. All of my Gucci is fake. Should I sell some of my clothes? Should I sell my jewelry? And I decided, you know what? The heck with that. They can just have the truck back. They can just have the truck back, man. I'm sorry I had to make this video, man. But I just wanted y'all to know the truth about me. I want y'all to know what y'all don't already know. That I'm no good. I'm just a dirty, low down dude with no heart. And now I'm finally getting my karma. I'm finally getting my karma. I thought me hitting those jackpots at the casino was something big. But I realized, man, you can only fake it for so long. My karma has finally caught up with me, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do from this point. But what I will say is rest in peace to my truck. Got you. I'll see y'all in the next video.